I know it's only been 11 and a half years, but I'm so glad you've taken a chance on me today. I feel confident that our whirlwind romance will continue. As you all know, Lydia and I met back at Barnard Castle. Uh, I'd seen her in the school play, and she, for some wonderful reason, was attracted to my luscious ginger locks. <laughs> I switched English classes, so we'd be in the same one. And we spent many happy PDA-free afternoons sneaking notes across the private study cubicles. But wherever we were, and whoever we were with, being with Lydia emptied the world so we could be alone. Yes, my life is lived through frames of reference that only we share. Ridiculously complex series of private jokes. Josh, you're a very fine young man, a true gentleman with impeccable manners. You have a gentle, caring and considerate nature, always wanting to do the right thing. You know that you'll make a fine husband for Lydia, and you'll always love and care for her. Lydia, your mum wants you to know that her life changed when you were born. Since that day, it's been our immense privilege to watch you grow an exceptional child into an exceptional young lady. Your unfailing kindness, cheerfulness, and your considering and caring nature will carry you into marriage. And I know you and Josh will have a long and happy marriage. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs>